Hola Virgo Sun, Libra Moons, welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Pull the main cards for the first half and take a quick look. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of the year in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of advice for 2025. So Virgo, Sun, Leo, Boons, you love socializing but aren't a party animal by any means. The best part about this combination is that while you do have a discriminating eye, you won't let the comments fly because of your Libra diplomacy. Unfortunately, at times you're too eager to please people, listen to their problems and try to fix them. Don't expend too much of your energy on those who are less than deserving of it. People appreciate your politeness and thoughtfulness. You always put other people first, sometimes a little too often. In relationships, you give it your all. Again, at times a little bit too much. Be sure to exercise and demand reciprocity in your personal connections or they could suck you dry. At times you can come across as cool and detached to your mate, but you fear that if you don't keep your romantic emotions in check, they can sweep you away. Your partner needs to understand your desire for structure and details that on occasion you will fuss over them relentlessly. In career, you want to find a profession that combines your need to analyze and research with your charm and persuasion. Fields such as sociology, sales, marketing, politics, communications, or journalism is where you may have your best success. Be certain to be an advocate for yourself in the workplace and stand up for that promotion or raise that you deserve. While you're great at collaborations and teamwork, you don't always voice your ideas, which can cause you to be overlooked. Have confidence in your intelligence and abilities. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please divide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgo Sun Libra Moons for the year 2025? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Can you please show me January and February for Virgo Sun Libra Moons? January and February, please. We have the Death card in reverse, which is the card of Scorpio. What do you see for March and April? We have the Temperance card in the upper right which is the card of Sagittarius and then what do you see for May and June for Virgo Sun Libra Moons we have the Nine of Wands in the upright so it looks like in, in um oh and also <laughs> look me up on Facebook Instagram TikTok like share subscribe donate refer uh, refer a friend and support my efforts always greatly appreciated so Death card in reverse in January and February has you in a period of stagnation. There's a situation that you should move out of, but you're not moving out of it for some reason. Perhaps you're fearful of, of change. Um, you figure it's it's better to stay with something that you're kind of comfortable with and have a major change happen and kind of take you out of that situation. Um, typically, the you're holding on to something that really isn't doing a lot for you. Um, you could be in a better situation if you take the, the if you take the steps to um, kind of um, step outside of it. I don't want to say steps too many times, but um, you know, holding on to something that's comfortable and predictable isn't always the best endeavor for us. Um, because I mean, sometimes things evolve and some things, some things die and we're no longer intended to be in them. So you might want to consider stepping out of whatever that is. Um, in March and April, I do see you kind of deliberating over this. Um, which is good. I feel as though you're kind of saying to yourself, well, how do I feel about this situation? And is it really doing me any good to kind of stay in it? Um, I see you kind of transferring this water from cup to cup while you're, um, while you're kind of working with what you presently have. I see you trying to figure out how to um, moderate your emotions about the situation and not, um, not be excessive, not be over the top, um, not lose your temper, which is something that has to do with the temperance card um, in the upright. So I, I do see you being really kind of thoughtful about um, what's going on in the situation you're in and how you're possibly going to change it or go about doing that. Now, the in 
May and June, I see you being very, um, well, I feel like whatever this situation is, you've really been through a lot because this is the Wounded Soldier card. And here you have this guy standing up. You can tell he's definitely taken a beating, but he's still standing. So you're, you're still being very resilient, but you're also, it's almost as though um, you can't take another hit. You can't go through another cycle. Um, and I feel as though you're keeping an eye out for that. So you are kind of um, building up a fortress and a way to protect yourself um, from whatever this is. But I feel that you're you're still in it. You continue to stay in whatever this situation is in the is is in the first half of the year, and all signs kind of point to maybe it's time to um, kind of get out of this situation. I feel as though it's a personal connection, but it could be a job, it could be you know an organization, anything like that. I do believe it involves other people. Um, so, and, and I do believe that you're, like I said, you're taking more hits than you should or giving more chances than you should. Um, and you're coming to this realization in May and June, like you might not be able to take it anymore. So that's what I'm seeing for you all for the first half of the year. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your Vimeo reading. I will look at the second half. I will pull clarifiers on everything and pull a card of advice for 2025. Check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings that are still on my playlist. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Virgo, Sun, Libra, Moons. I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.